Welcome to the Schumacher household. This is a line viper. This is my line viper that I that I use in our woods. And today we're gonna just um, do a demo on installing uh, the blade set for it. Uh, the cutter blade accessory to be exact. This eliminates for most purposes, at least for the purposes that I'm gonna be using my tools for today, it eliminates the need to carry a tubing cutter around. The tubing cutter has its application and other things, of course, but uh, today we're uh, resetting up our tubing, which is, um, we'll get into that. Uh, but for what I'm doing today, I need a cutter um, and I need a line viper. So this eliminates a tool and just makes me a little bit faster and streamlined in the woods. Let's do it. How do you install it? All right. All right, finger guard. The lighting is kind of nice too, isn't it? Yeah. That's the finger guard. That's the actual blade that has a, a cover on it. And in here we have a spacer block, which will make sense in a second. That's the spacer block. And these are the screws. Um, looks like a 1024 screw. Um, and it has an illustration on the back. And then the blade uh, has, it has two sharpened edges on it, I notice. This is the main bevel that, that sharpens the blade. And then there's a little bit of a relief cut on the back side, which is just to keep it from, um, from interfering with the, with the blank side of the blade, just to keep it from dulling and just to keep it running smooth. So it's kind of a, a, in a brilliant design. So I have that spacer block. All that spacer block does is equal the thickness of this metal here. The spacer, you see it says blade side, frame side. You probably can't pick that up in the picture because of the texture of this part. But I'm putting the frame side against the frame, leaving the blade side to go against the blade. I'm just lining up those holes. And then this is the finger guard. This is a uh, it, it's hard to screw this up because it has um, counter sinks, uh, uh, counter bores for the screw heads. See, so um, that gets placed right there. Boy, I got clumsy fingers today. Like with everything I do, I'm going to get one screw started. So you don't tighten it all the way. You just yeah, I just, both in. it's just a habit. It's like, it never does me wrong. And sometimes it, it's like imperative that you do that depending on what you're assembling. And then I just run them both. So they're sort of tight, no pressure at all. And then I give them a good even tightening. And that's that. So it shows an action. That completes it. So your tubing goes in there and runs it across that sharp blade. And it's nice. It's a, it's safe. You know, I've seen a lot of tubing tools that I've been cut by tubing tools in my haste. Um, there's really, uh, it, it'd be tough cutting yourself on, on this tool on accident. It's uh, like everything we've seen from Line Viper. It, it's well thought out and it's perfect. So you see here, this tubing was cut last year. That's how I disconnected it to take the tubing down. So I have to take that, that part off where I slid it with a knife last year to get it apart. So I'm going to cut that off, put that in my pocket, just throw it away later. This is what it boils down to. 